good morning dear students welcome to this uh, session on slope deflection method of continuous beams with simple end okay so till uh, last session we have solved continuous beams with uh, fixed ends now let us see uh, instead of fixed end if you have a simple end means what either a roller or a hinge so what is going to change so carry over moment carry over factor and stiffness value right all this we have to modify right so a b where earlier we have taken this b as fixed support now i am taking this as a roller okay either you you can have a hinge or roller so as i have hinge here so a general notation of simply supported beam the roller should be the other end okay if i take this as roller and i shall keep this as hinge right okay so now this is a simple end end b is now simple end okay right so what is moment developed at this end that is what we call carry over moment because it is a hinge you can't expect any moment so moment is zero so only if it is fixed then you will expect carry over moment will be there otherwise carry over moment is equal to zero okay so if the far end is a hinge okay then carry over moment is equal to zero and what is carry over factor m dash divided by m so carry over uh, moment divided by applied moment applied moment is m whereas carry over moment is zero so hence zero by anything is zero so carry over factor is also zero okay so if it is a fixed end we said carry over moment is half of applied moment and carry over factor is one by two now whereas for if the far end is a hinge okay or a simple support hinge or roller then carry over moment is zero carry over factor is zero okay right and what happens to theta okay slope so to get k value what is theta a value ml by 3 ei so m divided by theta is nothing but stiffness k so that is 3 ei by l okay so if it is fixed end if b is fixed end what we got that value as 4 ei by l okay so stiffness of the member is reduced it is 4 ei by l it is three times ei by l so the stiffness of the member is reduced okay because the support is changed from fixed support to simple support okay so simple support if if any member is having far end as simple support then the stiffness is only 3 ei by l Whereas if it is fixed, it is 4 EI by L. So these are the changes. So when the end of a continuous beam is hinge or roller, so I call it as uh, no, simple support. So if the continuous beam is having uh, simple end, then we shall note that the carryover factor is zero and no carry over moment will be there carry over moment is zero then stiffness of the member is uh, of that member is 
when when the far end is simple support stiffness value shall be taken as 3 ei by l instead of 4 ei by l okay so these are the changes let us see one example a simple example now you see uh, analyze the continuous beam shown by moment distribution method and draw bmd okay so i have taken a two span continuous beam ab bc only so a is fixed whereas c is a hinge now you see and b is a continuous support though there is a hinge we do not call this as hinge support okay so specifically hinge means it should be at the end okay so here uh, it is continuous support b is a continuous support right now as usual you follow writing fixed end moments first as step 1 so i write fixed end moments okay so these are fixed end moments right so mf ab uh, because it is udl on span ab wl square by 12 negative sign is because it is anti clockwise at a and mf ba is plus wl square by 12 and the values are like this take bc uh, it is of uh, point load at center so pl by 8 is the fixed end moment so mf bc value is negative whereas mf cb is positive they are minus 30 and plus 30 okay so ab take it as fixed beam right moments bc take it as fixed beam right moments now coming to the distribution factor table this is where changes will happen now okay right till now there is no change fixed end moments uh, are uh, same as earlier case now let us see we have only one joint joint b there are two members joining at the at the joint b ab and bc both are joining there okay so i have one joint so i, I write it as b joint uh, name so prepare this table joint members k sigma k and distribution factor these are columns so five columns you should make and the rows depending on the joints you have so if you have one joint and one row will be there and that will be split into number of rows depending on members joining at that joint okay so we have b a b c so b is near end a is far end b is near end c is far end try to read as i read it okay so for member b a stiffness value the stiffness formula will be when when you see b a a is far end a is fixed okay so this is far end fixed case far end fixed case what is uh, stiffness value for ei by l so i is 2i for ab l is 8 so for ei by l and this is the value when you take bc b is near end c is far end so far end is a hinge okay for bc bc b is near end joint is near end c is far end far end is hinge when far end is hinge what is the change stiffness of the member is not 4 ei by l it is 3 ei by l okay so 3 ei by l is span 4 meters i is i okay this is a change got it there is a change here so remember this is a very important thing where if the far end is hinge you should change stiffness value of the member stiffness will come down instead of 4 it is 
3 i by l okay then add the two values and you get the joint stiffness then distribution factor again k by sigma k so this divided by this will give you this value and this divided by this will give you this value okay so 0.75 ea by 1.75 ea 0.43 and ea by 1.75 ea 0.57 so far end c of the member bc is hinge this is to be noted very uh, a notable change okay right so this is distribution factor table preparation next going for distribution table okay as we have only one joint the distribution process is simple it won't be like trial and error okay you don't get many trials right what is a change here uh, when uh, when compared to earlier problem right so you draw this table with all these a b c okay try uh, note this b at the middle of this line and end the table after c and start the table before c and also have a column here for writing all these operations that what you are doing okay right once you write these uh, node names node points a b c then write distribution factor values what are they 0.57 and 0.43 this is b a value b c value so b a value b c value okay now write fixed end moments what are they m f a b is this value m f b a this value m f b c this value m f c b this value okay so all these are fixed end moments okay so minus 106.67 plus 106.67 minus 30 plus 30. now what to do the change in procedure we do not take joint first we take the hinge first so take the hinge first so what you have plus 30 moment is there so generally the end hinge should have zero moment okay end hinge always should have zero moment so first you balance the end hinge end hinge end hinge must be balanced first okay so end hinge must be balanced first what do you do add minus 30 to make it zero okay so you should have mc is equal to zero right moment set moment at c should be zero whereas you will have moment at a and you will have moment at b because it is continuous support so moment at c shall be zero so that we are doing now so you have plus 30 here because of fixed end moments make it zero to make it zero what you do add minus 30 here that is what you call balancing so first balance c okay so you have added 30 immediately after balance you shall go for carrying carry over moment okay next so what it is minus 30 is added so for c what is foreign b is a foreign so wherever you are applying the moment that is near end so you are applying minus 30 here this is near end what is foreign for that b is a foreign so take half the value to the far end okay that is minus 15 so that is the carryover moment don't touch p just complete c first so add um, uh, no balancing moment there then carry 
so that completes the joint c operation now coming to joint b once joint c is done come to joint b now you see what are all moments at b this value 106.67 minus 30 also minus 15 is also there now okay so now you take total of this 106.67 <coughs> minus 30 and minus 15 so it is 61.67 is the balance at b now so now what you do you have to make it zero so you have to add minus 61.67 how you add it by multiplying with distribution factors so this is the value minus 35.15 and minus 26.52 so minus 61.67 into 0.57 is this value minus 61.67 into 0.43 is this value because total value if you take it is coming plus 61.67 so 61.67 is remaining there but you have to make it zero so you add this value minus value right once you add minus values what you do next so balancing is done next go for carry over so for b what is foreign a is a foreign c is a foreign okay so you have added minus 35.15 at b for foreign is a a is fixed foreign is fixed so carry over moment will be there and that value is half so take half of this value and write it here what is foreign for b to this side is c but foreign is a hinge now not fixed support so for b it is c foreign foreign is a hinge so carry over moment how much zero okay that is what it tells what is carry over moment if the foreign is hinge you are applying some moment here m but the foreign is a hinge so carry over moment value is zero same case here b is a now a near end where you are applying minus 26.5 to your applying and what is foreign for this is a hinge so carry over moment is zero so draw an arrow write zero there so don't be mistaken don't take half value there okay so if you take half value you are doing a mistake right so the total moment at c is zero and the total moment at b is balanced and it is also zero okay right now you add all these values and put it here that is this value same add all these values and write it here same add all these values write it here and add all these values that is already zero okay right so this is uh, the moment distribution procedure for uh, if the continuous beam is having a hinge end or simple uh, support okay let us see how to draw bmd now uh, is task for BMD? Yes. Okay. So let us uh, draw BMD for this. So I I'll take some uh, page, uh, empty page. Here itself. Let's go for uh, here itself. I'll draw BMD here itself on this diagram. Okay. right so what are the values penumant values minus 124.27 so just draw a reference line there okay so 
so you try and draw it properly so minus 120.127 point something okay at a 71.52 at b 71.52 at b okay so just join them okay and this is udl so just a parabola there So try uh, right uh, parabola having maximum bending moment at uh, center. Okay. Now what about this one? Uh, BC, if you see, minus 71.52 and 0. Okay. Support moment at C is 0. Okay. So what you do? Say minus 71.52 and it is 0 here. Okay so join here see the change if uh, c is fixed support you will have some moment here as c is a hinge you will have zero moment now what so you have point load on bc so we will have a triangle so all these values you are able to calculate the span moments because it is already practiced earlier okay so this is how bmd will be right it's just a rough diagram you you complete it uh, it will be like a practice for you okay right so this is an example for uh, a case of continuous beam with the simple end okay we have still some more examples that i think you have to try okay so j and k uh, May 19 question you have uh, analyze the continuous beam shown in figure by moment distribution method draw BMD also SFD okay uh, beam is of uniform cross section means it's it's like uh, the one which we have just solved but whereas this both are UDLs okay so it is I there uniform cross section it is told so both uh, these bands having I same some uh, may 16 also you have uh, draw uh, bmd for continuous beam uh, shown below using moment distribution method but you have three span continuous beam here so you will need some uh, little bit of trial and error process so end hinge is at d d is a hinge support okay so this is uh, also to be practiced okay so try practice these uh, problems so if at all uh, any doubts you approach me uh, uh, no, uh, we will uh, in in the you know uh, in my cabin so that we will uh, discuss wherever you are having uh, doubt okay so i'll clarify all your doubts uh, or otherwise you can have a uh, g meet also right right Thank you.